Now for the followers counts five through eight of the side-by-side -side Charleston basic. So we've just done counts one through four, which as you remember were rock, step, kick, step. Now we've transferred all of our weight to the right foot. So keeping it nice and balanced, we're gonna do a kick, hitch, kick, step. Again, we have our weight starting on the right foot. We're gonna do kick, hitch, kick, step. So the key thing here, I'll show it to you from this side as well, we're on the right foot, we're doing kick, hitch, kick, step. So you want to not topple over, first of all, if you're supposed to be on your right foot, you want to be able to stay there. So we're doing a kick forward on five, a hitch on six. So this is kind of we're just drawing our weight backwards. We've been traveling forward for the whole time. Now we're going to want to change direction. So before we can change direction, we have to kind of gather ourselves on the hitch for six, kick back on seven, and then land on that left foot on eight. It's a lot easier when you do it to full tempo with the pulse, but that's the basic motion that's going on there. So we're doing kick, hitch, kick, step. From the back, we're doing kick, hitch, kick, step. And again, every step is a complete weight transfer, so you're landing fully on your left leg on eight. It's really important not to forget that back kick. If you just do kick, hitch, step, you're gonna end up getting off the count. It's not gonna match up so well with the leader. So that's the five through eight of the followers Charleston side-by-side -side basic.